I'm in the middle of like 16 different series right now and today I'm gonna choose three and either finish them or continue them And I'm also partnering with Spotify so that I can actually listen to some of these on audiobook Starting with my most anticipated trilogy's final book release A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber It is time. I'm diving in. The last book in the trilogy. I'm so nervous, guys. My expectations are obviously high because the first two books are six star books. So this did come out like a few days ago and other people have read it already. And one of my friends said that she was disappointed. So that's kind of good to set my expectations a little bit lower so that I have room to be surprised. And I read the last few chapters of the second book and then watched Carrie Can Read's video recapping the two books. So I feel very prepared to dive in. Literally the most beautiful books in the world. I'll just put my excessive editions of this series on the shelf to inspire me as I read the last and final book. I got to page 200 last night, which is exactly halfway. These books are so easy to binge because the writing just flows so well. I'm so excited to keep reading because I want something to happen very badly and we'll see if it happens. Things are happening in the book. Something crazy just happened. It's getting good. The time has come. I've finished A Curse for True Love and I've let it simmer in my brain a little bit. What do I think? What do I, what do, what's my review? I love this series, okay? I even just love looking at that. Like these books are gorgeous. Five stars, six stars. This book's perfect. Like even just looking at it, it's perfect. This book, good, amazing. I love the world. I love whimsical fairy time. I love the little dragons on the little mushrooms. I love the language. I love the magic. I love the falling in love with villains that you shouldn't fall in love with. But I wanted more time of my two favorite characters together. I feel like the bridge scene, that was good. I wanted more of that, but I didn't really get more of that, you know? And then the ending felt like I was in a fever dream. Like honestly, don't remember. That was a lot, you know? I think I'm gonna give it 4.25 stars, which is an amazing rating for a book in general. But coming off of a six star book, that's like, you know, that's different. That's a different rating for sure. But trilogy as a whole would highly, highly recommend. I do recommend you read the Caraval trilogy before this one. I think it adds a lot to the world. But I mean, especially for this one, you really don't hear that much about any of that world. And it's like really its own series at this point. So you could totally do without it, but this first book will spoil the Caraval trilogy for you. And then if you fall in love with her writing, you're gonna wanna go back and read that trilogy anyway. So I do recommend it. Yeah, I will continue to buy every single edition of this book, every paperback, every UK version, every special edition if I get my hands on it. Cause I think the covers are beautiful and it represents how magical the world is. Look at, oh, look at the little like symbols on the side. That's so cute. Disappointed. Yeah, a little bit, but it's still a great trilogy. So I'm happy that it's completed now and that I have all the books. That is that is satisfying. It's also satisfying that I completed a trilogy because it's just so rare for me to actually finish series that I start. So that is, that's one good satisfactory thing about this video so far. The next series I'm gonna continue is one that I abandoned like a year ago, which is confusing because I gave the first book 4.5 stars, which is super high. And it's taken me till the next fall to pick it up again, but that's because it's a great atmospheric autumn series. And that is the Truly Devious Trilogy. She did add books, but they're apparently standalone. So we're gonna call it a trilogy. I've only read the first one, but loved it. So I'm gonna continue on with The Vanishing Stare, but I'm gonna listen to it on audiobook. I'm actually gonna use Spotify to listen to it because Spotify has audiobooks now. So you should check that out. Out. But at the same time, I'm going to continue the Throne of Glass series, but I'm going to read it physically because I'm on Air of Fire, which is like book three or book four, depending on what you see on the internet. People have a lot of different preferences on when to read the prologue book. Some people read it first, some people read it third, and some people read it fourth. I'm personally taking the route where I read the prologue book four. So in my brain, these are the first three books. And this is my last reread because I read these three two years ago. And this year I'm determined to actually finish it. So physically read this and start listening to this. Let's get it. Good 
morning. I am getting in the car to go to a coffee shop that's 15 minutes away. So I started an audiobook of the next book that I'm reading, which is The Vanishing Stare, and I'm listening to it through Spotify. If you guys don't already use Spotify for audiobooks, you definitely should. I've already been using them for music for so long and now podcasts and now audiobooks, which is so nice because it's just all there in one app. But they have really good voice actors who read the book and do different voices for the characters. I got my coffee. There's a green light. Bye. I forgot how cozy the series is for the fall, especially we just got our cold front in yesterday. So I'm wearing my raincoat again. It's actually so cold. It's not that cold. It's like Texas cold. This book is kind of like a dark academia murder mystery, almost like a good girl's guide to murder vibes where a single girl is going to try to solve a murder case and like not get permission from anyone. But it's set in this private academy in the middle of nowhere, Vermont, I believe, which is so cozy. It's even like cozier having it read to you. curled my hair and I'm not brushing it out so that I can stay all day so but I'm now on chapter 9 of The Vanishing Stare on Spotify audiobook. I have 5 hours and 40 minutes of it left and then I've been physically reading Air Fire whenever I'm sitting down but I have tons of like house chores to do today so I'm gonna do a bunch of bed sheets, the ones in my library, the ones in our guest room, take Spock on a walk and I'm going to be listening to the audiobook the entire time which is really fun because I'm gonna get so many chores done but then I'm also gonna be finishing a book for a book series and I really like the narrator of this audiobook I feel like particular books are so much better when you listen to them because there's so many different characters and they'll do different voices so you can kind of, I don't know, it just kind of makes the book come alive a little bit more to hear all the different sounds of it and it's just very like ambient for the fall. So, so hopefully we finish this one today and then air fire by tomorrow. It's how I like it. Let's talk about Good morning guys. Let's see. I have an hour 38 left of The Vanishing Stare. I got it in the mail physical form and I'm gonna keep doing sheets. I need to do my library sheets. So I'm gonna do that. Keep listening to this and then I have like 20% left of Air Fire. I was getting through it last night. It's so good all of a sudden. I'm so happy that it's so much better the second time around. I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm gonna keep listening. Finish the last page. Done! Woo! Have a look inside. Under his seat. But I guess It looks like I've changed a million times in this video. It's the same day, I swear. I just keep putting different stuff on. I finished the vanishing stare. The ending of both books was so good. Let me talk about vanishing stare first. I read Truly Devious, the first book in this series, I think last fall. And then I went to the bookstore to get the second one and I accidentally bought the third one. And then that just kind of like stopped me in my tracks for a full year. And I never moved on with the series, but then fall came around again and it's just the perfect fall vibe. I'm so glad that I started to continue it, especially on audio. It was so good, especially the ending when everything gets explained to you. It feels like an actual movie scene or like there's interviews of different characters in the book. And that was really great audio wise as well. So I would highly recommend listening to it on audio. But yeah, I would give this one four stars as well, but I definitely want to continue it. It's such a fun environment that the books are set in and the main character, Stevie, she reminds me of Pip 
from a Good Girls Guide to Murder series. So finally on the move again with this one. And then Air of Fire was so good. It was fully an easy five stars around this time, but the first time that I read it, I gave it four stars. And I just was like so relieved for it to be over. I don't remember any of the stuff that happens at the end. Like it's almost been two years since I read it and I really forgot a lot of the plot that happens at the end. But I just remember I was traveling while reading it and I was so relieved for it to be over. This time around, people always say that she is so good at making her plot super intricate and everything that she writes is for a purpose and nothing is on accident. And I really got to see that with rereading the first three books. And yeah, it was just so enjoyable this time around. I honestly don't relate to myself who used to think this was like a super slow book. And now I understand why people rave about it so much. And now I'm so excited to keep reading this series. I think I'm honestly gonna make an entire video reading this series because I kind of have to. Like I can't picture reading anything else right now. The Assassin's Blade is the prologue, prelude. It's kind of like the backstory to her life. It's like five short stories. And there's lots of debate on if you read this one first or if you read it fourth. I kind of fell into reading it fourth, but I think I'm definitely going to keep reading this series. So this video served its purpose.